Yeah, it's time for an upgrade. At least we didn't have to cut that one. Okay, so now obviously we gotta make this hole line up with this hole. It's about three quarters of an inch too high right now. So what we'll do is we'll take this isolator and we'll cut it down quite a bit so here's what you end up with for your finished product um, just cut it down super short uh, don't cut yourself I should listen to my own advice but I don't um, but yeah cut it down super short and then I also had to cut inside the ski right here It used to look the same as the back, but you have to cut the front down because the uh, the ram comes down so far in front of the the pin that the ski bolts to. All right, so I got them on. And to throw a couple of washers in there to close the gap up and my bolts a little long, I'm going to trim that off. But I think it looks pretty good. I thought the handles were going to be a much brighter green, so I'll probably swap them out with purple ones. But, uh, yeah, I'm liking it. It's looking a lot better. I did buy these skis without carbides in them, so I'm going to probably just make my own carbide steel in them since they won't get that many miles put on them anyways. But yeah, and uh, yep, these skis are off of a 2014 Articat XF7000. That doesn't really mean a lot to me, but you guys probably know what it is. You'll know what to look for. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video, but stay tuned. Uh, hopefully within a week or so, I will have my parts together for the new sled. For the chassis, at least, I've got uh, I've got the track. I'm just waiting on the rear suspension that I ordered, and uh, then we'll be good to go. So yeah, if you like the video, leave a like. If you want to keep up with what I'm doing on all the phasers, hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.